Hi, I'm Alexei Cruz Picorel. I used to use Cruz in Brazil because it's easier to spell, but my last name is Picorel. <laughs> Uh, and we're gonna do a few positions for uh, BJJWeekly.com. I'm training Jiu-Jitsu for uh, for the last 20 years. I am a um, third degree black belt and under uh, Ricardo De La Riva. Uh, if you guys ever heard, it's like uh, the guy who used to do the De La Riva guard. Uh, by the way, for his uh, students, we only know as Puddin because that's how we, we see the, the guys falling. They, they fall like a, a putty on the floor. That's why we, we call that. And then became famous, and they name under uh, his name. Uh, of course, because I'm uh, under De La Riva, then we of course gonna do some of uh, De La Riva guard and some passes after we actually sweep the opponent. The main situation for a De La Riva guard is the control of the arms. Everything is about how you can uh, project your position, all right? So one of the major things on this situation is control the arms, all right? So all his defense, usually it's based when I lose the grip, okay? So I'm gonna control lower on his sleeve, all right? So. I'm gonna do my situation. I'm not gonna wait for him to open the guard. I wanna take um, uh, the first step, all right? Because if he opens my guard, it will make it very difficult for me. So I'm gonna hold both lapels really tight, all right? I'm gonna step on the ground. It doesn't matter which leg. Go for the side you like. You slide your hips and then move your knee right on the shoulder. The other leg, it's totally up to the person doing the position. You can just step on the hips outside of his arm or you can go back inside his arm, all right? So on this situation, some, some, uh, some opponents lift their legs, all right? Doesn't matter which side, you can see I have both ways. Uh, now it's about how to get the position. First, don't lose the arm, and I'm gonna move my upper body, and then I'm gonna lose, move my, uh, my hips on top of his foot to make the angle, all right? My leg go outside, then go inside. While ago, we used to cross all the way, but now we just using our foot, holding his, uh, his thigh. I don't need to cross anymore, all right? Again, it's all about the control of his arm controlling so then I'm gonna adjust I'm gonna sit over his foot and now because I'm controlling my opponent I'm gonna cross my other leg all right to make the sweep I'm just gonna step on his knee and start pushing as I stretch my leg all right I stretch when he falls down I just go on top when you get on top, I cannot lose the leg because I'm going to go for the pass right after. So you make a good position. You don't want to lose and let the guy to uh, readjust and give a uh, sweep back to you. So when you sweep, hold the neck under the arm and then you spread your legs, moving your hips very low. Then you can just slide sideways and you're ready on a pass. All right? Just to finish the position, Bring your knee close to the hips and then hold the position for three seconds to make the three points. As a big name that I, I train, I train it, uh, Leona Machida right now is like the biggest uh, name because uh, he's a UFC um, 205 champ. Uh, he was always uh, natural for martial arts, great kid. Uh, his father is a karate guy, he's from Japan. And Lyoto used to uh, hide to go train with me. That was uh, the, the funny part, uh, because his father didn't want him to do anything else besides karate, because uh, that was uh, his main thing. So when I start teaching at, uh, at uh, Lyoto's father's gym, uh, it was kind of uh, weird in the beginning until they realized that Jiu-Jitsu is also a really great martial art. Lyoto used to 
run away from his training and go to class and we used to roll like for 20 minutes non-stopping and he never gets tired. I had to stop a couple times, even him just a blue belt and I'm black belt, but he could go forward forever. That was really amazing, like his heart was always big, his lungs were like, the capacity of his lungs was always huge. He is where he is right now because of a lot of training. After me, of course, he got like some other guys, um, but the, the biggest name he was training under was actually one of my other students called Broca that he used to be Lyoto's partner and that make, uh, because he's a really good uh, guard guy, that makes Lyoto increase his base. I don't see anybody like capable to sweep Lyoto uh, when he's passing. Like it's freaking hard. It's almost impossible because his base is so solid. He doesn't need to, uh, to know a lot of things. It's just like the way he, he projects his body is just enough for him to stay on top.